Okay, so someone asked me for a more detailed, um, more detailed video on how to go in and uh, do that, that adjustment for um, uh, LG compressor, how to replace it with the regular 115 volt. These usually come in the 175 to uh, 220 volts. Uh, today I'm going to show you the 220 volts. I'll do the 175 later because that one has another inverter board and I want to go in and uh, sketch that out so I could draw it out for you. So this is what I drew. Um, this is what you're going to need. <coughs> You're gonna need this relay right here. This relay, you can usually find it on the GE motherboards. Um, it's a very, very uh, common relay. This is what controls the compressor on the GE refrigerator. So it will do uh, very good and lasting on, on these this, this kind of uh, work we're gonna go ahead and do today. Um, so what you do, <coughs> excuse me. So what you do here is that, um, <coughs> Get these parts. Get the 115 volt, the, the 100, uh, it's a 240 uh, VAC relay. It's a 12 volt and it's a 20 to 30 amp. <coughs> You're also gonna need another relay. You could either get a relay with the capacitor or just a regular relay. This is the, oh man, I don't know how you, what you would call this part right here. This is what goes on the common, which is on the, on the compressor. And, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna go in. Uh, I left it like this because I'm gonna go ahead and explain step by step how to go ahead and wire all this together. That way you could go ahead and get it done. That way you uh, you have a you could convert it to 115 euro. You save yourself money on spending the 200 dollars or more for that compressor instead. I um, mean, you could go to any local appliance shop and you could go ahead and get it for like 20, 30 bucks. That's gonna save you a lot more money. So this is. This is what's helped me a lot in my business. It's I've, I've been doing it for 10 years and this has helped a lot on me saving money. This is what made me get more refrigerators because that would be scary because you have to, it's a pretty big investment. Whatever you pay for the fridge and then you also have to add more money on top to get the new compressor. And then when I would install them, they would last up to a year. So it was pretty much the same story. So this is what I do and this is how they last a lot longer. So yeah, let's go ahead and start doing all this. So <coughs> what you're gonna do is that, uh, you're gonna go to the main board <coughs> take off the panel on the back go to the main board and then on the panel you're gonna go in and find this little uh this harness this harness right here it's gonna have it's gonna have some uh some some lettering in there it's gonna tell you what is what and uh it, you're gonna find the area where it says compressor fan all right so it's usually the top right uh harness the, the connector and then it says cvf on it and it's gonna be a white with red cable that you're gonna go ahead and use and the violet. These two cables are the ones you're gonna use for that. Those are the ones that control the compressor fan. So that's where you're gonna get, uh, that, that's how you're gonna make it turn on and off. And it's gonna be coordinated with the refrigerator. So it, it'll function just perfect. Trust me on this one. So what you go ahead and do is that uh, <coughs> these two cables right here, you're gonna go to the relay, okay? <coughs> You need to solder first some cables on this relay, okay? Solder the cables. These two right here, uh, the two pins. It has uh, five pins. It has two small pins. This relay comes always the same. So it's going to be two small pins, and it's going to be, uh, what's it called? Uh, another Some other pins right here, which you're going to use for another stuff. We'll, we'll go to explain step by step. So what you do is that you're gonna you're gonna uh, solder some cables on on these pins, and you're gonna run these cables up to here. Okay. So let's say you have the refrigerator cables going in, right? So you have to cut these right here, and then you put them together again. Put them together again, and then you pass them down to this relay over here to these pins. Okay. So this is where you're gonna go ahead and do right here. All right, so tape it down. Uh, I use the little cones. Those cones come in really handy, and then I tape them after, so that way you prevent anything from falling off in the future because of heat or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah, that's that's the first step. <coughs> so over here, you're gonna have some other cables. Uh, this is where you're gonna get your power from. So where you could go ahead and power this compressor. So this is a line, and this is a neutral. You're also gonna have on the right side. Uh, these are cables right here. These come straight from the plug. On the right side, you're gonna have some other ones. One's gonna indicate a uh, uh, power and one neutral. These cables, you're gonna cut them off as well. So you're gonna cut off all these right here. Cut off all these. When you cut them off, as soon as you cut these cables off, you're gonna put them back together again. Cause you're gonna, you're gonna add something else right here. 
So, okay, so let's say we cut, already cut these cables off. Say they're cut off, whatever, boom, boom. That's that. <coughs> now, <coughs> these <coughs> are gonna be the cables that you're gonna use so you can run the power down to your compressor. You're gonna down, down, uh, run it down to your compressor. So, okay, let me put this in the light. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, so, okay, to get this done, power. Usually the power is always gonna be your line. So make sure that you do, uh, this is gonna be a black cable. A black, and it's gonna be a white cable. Always, line is always gonna be black. Neutral is always gonna be white. white. So you go ahead and uh, get the power one line, and then you're gonna put these together, boom, like that. That's the way this one goes. Now the neutral is gonna be the one, the tricky one. This neutral, this is exactly what you're gonna run over here. So you see how you leave these two? Neutral and the neutral. So this, this is where, where you're gonna split. So whenever the compressor fan turns on, whenever the compressor fan turns on, what it's gonna do is gonna send the, the, the uh, 12 volt signal to this right here. Okay, so this is how this one goes. Uh, let's say you have this right here. This is what's inside the relay. And then you have one pin right here, the little pin right here, the little pin right here, okay. And then you have this right here, this right here, and then you have this right here, Let's see, like that, and then you have it like that. So when you get the, uh, the, the 12 volts here, you get the 12 volts here, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna make this close. So boom, closes. Once this closes, well, you're gonna get current to the compressor, and it's only gonna be when the compressor fan turns on. So if it has to do a defrost, if you've already finished cooling, the compressor fan's gonna turn off, so it'll turn off along with the compressor. So that's the neat, neat thing about this. This is what's gonna, this is the good trick, man. This is what's gonna get you some bills. I'll tell you that. Bills or your refrigerator fix, one of those two. So yeah, that's how that goes. So let's get back to the neutral. This is, since I said this was the one you're gonna split, you're gonna use this side right here from that relay and then you're going to use the other pin right here and then you're going to split it run one to one which is this one right here run it to here and then the other one the other side you're going to run it to this neutral right here these two neutrals all right so that's that there and now we go back so this side right here <coughs> so since these cables go down um, usually when you connect them like this you connect them like this they go down to the compressor the red one the red one is gonna be your line line your black one is gonna be your neutral down because when you once you have all this connected right here now you just go to the bottom Worry about the bottom. So the black, the red and the black, there's a harness on the right side, which is gonna have uh, another pin, which turns on the linear compressor. But this, you're gonna cut off those cables as well. Cut them off. And then you're gonna connect them to the relay. So now, on the relay, uh, uh, let's say per se, just this is just an example. You have this type of relay, <coughs> which is I think a thermal, thermocoupler, what is it? Uh, I, I keep forgetting what it's called. <coughs> <clears throat> well, this part right here, this is always going to be the line. This little part is always going to be the line. So you connect this one to the line, which is the red. Now, this, uh, let me see, this pin right here is the one you're going to use. It's some relays, I know, uh, if you know about appliances, you know about relays, all that stuff. Some of the relays in the bottom, that go in the bottom, which are, are uh, the two pins up here, uh, are gonna have either four pins or they're gonna have just one. You always wanna use the one on the left side, this one, the, the bottom left side. So the bottom left side, you're gonna go ahead and connect it to this black, the neutral. And that's what's gonna make it turn on. Now, if you're using a, re a relay with the capacitor, um, really with the capacitor, it's just pretty much the same thing. You know what, which one's neutral, you, it tells you which one's line. So just make sure that you connect them, same thing as this. Uh, your neutral to your neutral line to your line. 
everything. I uh, use use cone, use little, little cones to go in and do this job. Makes it a lot better. Um, just also make sure that you do the vacuum, do the vacuum. You know all that stuff. This this I'm showing to the people that uh, that are in the business and they're looking for a remedy to go how to get this done because I mean. Uh, I could go ahead and show how to charge the refrigerator and all that later, but this is what I have been getting asked for a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done first. And if there's anything else you need, I could go ahead and make a video about it. But this is gonna be your guide to make all this. I made it as simple as possible. I mean, I could go a little bit more techy, tell you why you have to check about uh, continuity, to check where you're getting this voltage and this and that. I could go a lot more techy, but you know what? I'm putting it easy so because that's just how it is. At the end of the day, this is what's gonna get it done. You don't need to know, know what. Well, you do need to know what, why it, uh, why it works. But uh, I don't, I don't believe in all that. I'm just a just do it guy, so I don't go through all that techy stuff. I know everything, but this is very, very easy to understand. And uh, I mean, I could make a video later, but this is just an update, and I'm pretty sure that this is all all we need. All we need. Uh, um, if there's any questions you need, uh, I mean, later I'll post another video to show you the, the actual parts. But this is how they look. G motherboards, they have the same thing. Just go to the, go to, go to Google. You can find everything in Google. Just go to Google, put GE motherboards. They're gonna show you the boards there. You're gonna see some really that's this shape. That's the only really that has this shape right here. This one right here. So yeah, you're gonna have, you're gonna need a soldering tool. You're gonna need solder. You're gonna need cables, extra cables, so you can go to get all this done. And the relays, you're gonna need the 115 volt compressor. Now the compressor, you're gonna it has to be 115 <coughs> AC compressor, and it has to be a 21 LRA. And uh, the the brand that I recommend the most is Embrico. It has to be an Embrico. The Embrico is not gonna give you any trouble at all because I give a one year warranty on my units. And uh, sometimes like it, it, would be, it would be really rare. Everybody gets a problem or two. And uh, if I didn't put an Embrico compressor, I would get that refrigerator back. So uh, yeah, from that point on, I've just used the, the Embrico's and they work super, super, super good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna post on some other videos. So it's, they're gonna be like little hacks. Uh, another one's gonna be how to make a, a, a electric dryer, 220 volt to a gas dryer. 110 volt operated. Uh, I know that there's a lot of videos on YouTube. I just checked it out myself. There's people that are just connecting the 115 volt and then just putting in the plug, so they don't get that much power from it. They, they I'm pretty sure the clothes takes too long to dry. But with this trick that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to connect the gas, the the gas. Uh, what's it called? The the gas valve and all that stuff. The cone. Oh, I'm gonna show you all that stuff. So yeah, it will be the next video. I'll probably go and do it on Sunday. Uh, but this is now for the linear compressor. This is from LG linear compressor. So yeah, I wanna go and see if uh, later I could go to make a motherboard and try to sell these out and then uh, sell some sort of manual. So that way you could go and see how it works. Uh, how to, it shows you how to connect it and everything. But this is a sketch, it's pretty good. It's not hard at all. So any questions, just go and drop a comment and then subscribe if you want some more. Turn on the little notifications. Thank you.